Just gonna grab everything along the side of the road here. Because why not? There we go, that was some good pickings. Get one of my arrows back. Okay, uh, can I skip? Because I know up there is a whiz robe. I want to know if I can skip him, because I actually am not keen on fighting him. He's actually one of the worst ones, which is an electric whiz robe. And those don't really have weaknesses like the fire and ice ones do. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, those are some steep cliffs, man. But just in case you were wondering, for the there's a side quest in Zora's Domain about the murals. You have to find ten murals scattered throughout Zora's Domain. That's one of them. Just hidden out of the way here on the main path. But we're almost to Zora's Domain, so not to worry. We'll have that memory yet. And I think this will be the first stream that I'll have three memories at least be my most uh, productive stream ever. Why? I don't. I don't understand that. Why do they wave? Why? Someone tell me why they wave. Cause I, d I don't get why they wave at you as they uh, right before they attack you. Now, if I last recall, there was actually not much. There was not much in these boxes. It was actually kind of a waste of a weapon to go after them. Oh, that's another mural. I almost want to say there's a Korok up there, too, like under a rock or something. Aha! Take a look at this, everybody. That. Poking its nose out of the water, its trunk, if you will is Baluta in the damn reservoir, spewing water into the air. As long as you're within uh, Zora's Domain territory, you're going to be experiencing this water. Let's see here. Aha! There you go. I was right. Korok. Now, we're going to take a little bit of another shortcut here. So you can actually skip most of this whole area here. And I really like the, the, it, the look of this whole place. Like, it's almost like aquatic coral, like you're delving deep underground or something, you know? Or under the water, I should say, uh, to come to Zora's domain. It's really like stepping into another world. It's crazy. Out of all the sections in this game, this is literally the most otherworldly. Like it almost doesn't belong in this world, but it does. And in fact, the uh, some lore about this place, uh, Zora's Domain, all of it was crafted out of this unique rock, this unique colored rock that's all throughout the entire uh, valley or canyon. It truly is a unique culture. Huh. <laughs> Link is... <laughs> oh, their uh, interaction is great. First, we have a shrine to do. There's all sorts of things here. Oh, 
Ooh, lotus seeds. Now, this one I remember very vividly, this particular shrine. Um, and that's because when I first came to Zor's, this was my first people grouping that I visited on my first playthrough. Um, this was probably the first shrine I went to that gave me the most amount of trouble up to that point. So it stands out very clearly in my mind because I had so much trouble figuring it out. And it's actually kind of expansive in terms of the solution. You can see the nonsense that's happening right now. And uh, the balls that are dropping are just a temporary annoyance. They're going to go away as soon as I finish off uh, getting up to the top. Once I'm up at the top, they're no longer a problem. But you don't want to get hit on the way up. Just eat my hat. <sighs> okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the rocks, the boulders stop appearing now. Thank goodness. So that gives us time to actually take advantage and open this chest and see what it's all about. Pointless weapon. As I said, the weapons you get in this area are all kind of weak and indicate to me that this was supposed to be your, your entry level uh, divine beast area. Okay, so. The ball's gonna go through here. We actually wanna stop it. Really now. You two need to get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, we need to stop it from entering this area at all and destroying. Like the ball will I think really destroy itself if you don't put an ice block there. Now how to get the ball out? It's pretty easy, you just push. Push it from the side of the wall. And then up through here. And then I think, oh gosh, I gotta be fast here. Oh gosh, I forgot to put one right here. Come on. I think I can push this, blo this ball. No! That's probably a better place to put it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This gives me all sorts of trouble. This now rolls down here, follows this path. It should now go over. Oh my gosh, come on now. Follow gravity, you can do this. Okay, and this should push it up over the edge. No! <gasps> no! I did not account for this. I did not. Mm. You see what I'm saying? This gave me the most amount of trouble, and it still is. This is why this particular shrine is notorious, at least in my family, uh, because my son doesn't like it. He still hasn't beaten it. Uh, my wife won't even try it anymore. 
<laughs> so it's like, this is the bane of all their, uh, their woes in terms of shrine, shrines, actually. Now, please, you can make it through. I know you can. You've done it before. You've done it before. Thank you. Now it should... Stopped right there. Good. Good, 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 good. And then I should push it. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Yes! Whew. Did it. Took a couple minutes extra than I wanted, but it worked. So yeah, this is one of the harder shrines, mainly because it's not just problem solving, it's also a little bit of a uh, timing, too. Now I gotta find the uh, statue in this town. Where the heck is the statue? Did I... did we go through a full day? Let me check the time. Because it's like very... Yeah, we did! We did, we did, we did. And now day 33. It's early in the morning. Chief Secretary. What does that entail? <laughs> the bad thing about talking to some of the old members, the Zoras live very unusually long lives. And they actually remember Link, and they know he is one and the same person, unlike some of the other tribes. And uh, they are very angry at Link for supposedly convincing uh, Mipha to, to pilot Varuta and get involved in that whole nonsense and stuff with uh, saving the, the Hyrule and battling Ganon. And they believe that led to her death which they blame Link for. And I... Where is... Where is the statue of Hylia? Do they not have it here? I want some extra... Extra stamina. Ah, it's right here in the center. I just, like, totally passed it. It could be really hidden, actually. No, no, no. <sighs> That's almost as bad as Kepora Kepora in Ocarina of Time, where he's like, would you like me to repeat that again? And it's automatically scheduled for yes. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, I don't want you to repeat it again. And then he repeats it again. All right, after this one, one more upgrade, and we will be good to go. And then we can give it all to the Hatino demon statue and uh, for hearts and then make our way to Lost Woods in that moment. Okay, we are just about full up on stamina. Now, King Dorfan is huge. He is a Large king, just like uh, King uh, Zora in Ocarina of Time. Now, here's an interesting theory that someone proposed. Hillians in this game have a lot of different faces, and every yeah. single one of them look yeah. unique and individual, and you can tell the difference between them. But when you go to the Gorons or the Gerudo, well, maybe the Gerudo, the Gerudo have... Uh, differences that you can easily tell, but the Ritos and stuff, other than male, female, you know, pink, blue, you you can't tell the difference between them. Now the Zoras, you can, they're very vivid and each one has their own unique look and personality and you can tell the difference between characters, not just male and female, but who each person is based on how they look. And, 
and uh, someone had a theory that because it's kind of like a inherent xenophobic uh, bias that Link has, that he has actually spent his time not just among Hylians, but the Zoras just as much since he was four years old. He has been around the Zoras as well, so he has grown up to tell the difference between um, between uh, the different individual people in that culture, in that species. So interesting little theory there, why they're so different looking from each other compared to some of the other races in the game. Because Link has grown up to recognize those differences. And yes, there's another theory that Nintendo strongly hints at in this, and that they have not denied, and that is uh, apparently interspecies mating is possible uh, between uh, obviously Gerudus and Hillians. That's kind of a no-brainer, um, but also between Zoras and Hillians and uh, Ritos and Hillians. Now Gorons, eh, that's a dicey subject. I don't, I don't think anybody mm -hmm. <laughs> is into interspecies compatible with Gorons, but uh, Nintendo has not really uh, confirmed nor denied that any of this is possible. <laughs> Just that they're able to fall in love and that Mitha and Link were definitely in love. They were a thing, which is quite surprising since they only alluded to this type of relationship back in Ocarina of Time with Princess Ruto and Link. So the fact that they actually said, yeah, they're a, they're a couple, they're an item here, was definitely a step forward in a direction that I don't think anybody expected. Blaming us for everything. Is this the one where we're going to get the uh, Varuta coming out of the, the water? Here it is. Our last divine beast that we get to see. So unlike the Rito, or the Gorons, or uh, even uh, the Gerudu, Baruta actually poses a much greater threat than the other three combined, just because of the immediacy of the, the danger that this reservoir could literally overflow, break the dam, and just flood all of Hyrule Field. And then flood Puerto Rico, maybe Hatina Village, all that stuff. So this is definitely a problem with Divine Beast that needs to be taken care of quickly. Another reason why the game probably hurt, you know, shoots you into that direction to the Zoras mm. first. <laughs> and that is why they they have tasked a lot of people to come visit them in their domain. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> Plink with his teeth. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> oh, he's not happy, the one on the left. So to understand the reasoning behind this, um, why he's so mad that uh, 
he was given the uh, the armor that Mipha create uh, built actually designed and, and made craft handcrafted mm -hmm. um, is there is a tradition in the Zoras that Zora women uh, oh. build armor with part of their scales in it for their future husbands and Mipha actually built this for him and uh, it fits him perfectly. So she was planning to wed uh, Link before all this went down, which is kind of sad in a way. Because they never got to get together, and they never will, which is a strange type of sad.